Question 17. 125.48 subtract 72.3. Well, we need to make sure we are lining up our decimal points. So always line up decimal points first. And that is going to make sure that you get all the numbers in the correct columns and lined up nicely. So 125.48, so 125 goes before the point and then 0.48 afterwards. And then we've got 72 before the point and 0.3 after the point. Obviously you'll see that there is a gap here and any gaps we can fill in with zeros. So there's a zero that can go underneath the 8 there and we are subtracting. Once we've got that set up nicely like that we are ready to answer it. So we always start with the top number. So 8 take away 0 is still 8. 4 take away 3 is still 1. 5 take away 2 is 3, 2 take away 7 we can't do so we need to borrow 1, so cross out the 1 and that becomes 0 and the 1 you've borrowed turns this 2 here into a 12, so now we can do it, 12 take away 7 is 5, the only thing that's missing is your decimal point and it must be lined up with these decimal points here, so our final answer should be 53.18 and that's what goes in our answer box.